This evening, we are going to retell the story of the closing moments that led to the death of Jesus Christ. A story that has been told by generations for hundreds, even thousands of years. And it's a story which is recognized both by the religious and the non-religious as having had a monumental impact on much of the civilized world. So the invitation we extend to you is not simply to watch a performance from a distance, but tonight we invite you to allow yourself to participate, to step with us into each scene as we recall the final moments of his life through the eyes of those who knew him. Come with us, share the anguish of the Garden of Gethsemane, his trial of humiliation before Pilate, and the fateful steps he took to Calvary, the place of his execution. follow me. The words that changed history. A man from nowhere, no famous town in three years is accused of flipping the world upside down. Now I can't tell you firsthand of all the things that happened long ago in the East and of all the witnesses, well they're long gone, they're deceased. But they did leave writings, books, letters, manuscripts. And now it's up to us to weigh up the evidence to see if it still fits. Was he just a good moral teacher? A live well, feel good, prosperity preacher? A, a, teaching us to be kind and to live in self order. Teaching us not to fight and instead to love one another. Or was he just a madman off the rails? Lean the gullible down dead end trails, a liar, a cheat, a true magician, attempting to lead a rebellious mission. Maybe his followers just got it wrong. Maybe they just convinced the crowd a thousand strong. Maybe it started as a simpler story and then over the years people just added more glory. But I can tell you this. The world has never been the same since, bringing division like a sword, and of peace, well, they called him a prince. This man has changed the world like no other, not of riches or prestige, but from a simple mother. And his words, well, they still echo through the generations, and now millions upon millions declare their adoration. So what of tonight? What choice might divide us? One choice. What do we make of this man? What do we think of this Jesus? 
the Passover's in Followers have gathered for the most important part of the Jewish year. See, every family would gather like our friends have here. But after three years of jubilant victory, the teacher seems more somber. And as the festivities begin, the disciples, well, they begin to wonder. But then Jesus takes the bread and he takes the wine he begins a new ritual that will last for all time. Take this, my flesh, for teacher promises that tonight the sheep would be scattered because the leaders of this earth will rise up and smite the shepherd but then after they will be gathered Thomas he starts to question and doubt in his heart Judas he looks up his eyes are fixed on the door looking ready to depart John he can't believe it but he trusts in his leader (laughs) and Peter well he speaks up all brash Lord I will never leave you (laughs) But the betrayer is here, dipping his bread in this here bowl. See, the scriptures must be fulfilled, for it has been foretold. So now, 
the disciples are all up in a fuss. Lord, is it me? Let's go out and pray and then we'll see. News spreads fast in a town like this. And it's not long before others realize that something is amiss. Including Mary from Magdala. A lady who Jesus himself had found. An infamous woman of the world whose life had been turned upside down by meeting this man. Her rabbi, her guide. See, she'd sat at his feet and she'd walked by his side. But now, now she felt an end drawing near as a darkness approaches the one that she holds dear. One day they will remember him, the one who came to save. One day they will remember this, the sacrifice he made. One day their eyes will recognize these hands that bore their pain. One day they will believe and see the reason that he came, but not today, but not today. Christ on his knees with blood sweating from his head. The followers are forgiven for they know not his dread. <laughs> Wake! A little while more. The time is coming. It's knocking on the door. The spirit is willing but the flesh weak. A little while more. Why must you sleep? Pain and anguish smitten on this tree. Peter, you boast faithful, but when all else flee, you will deny and speak as if given up. Now the time is coming for him to take this cup. Those who live by the sword, the same shall he die. 
See, the Messiah was peaceful as they tussle and fight. Swords drawn, shields clash, and ear dismembered. <laughs> the Christ heals that soldier. It's a night he'll remember. <laughs> Submitting to the authority that he alone gave. A kiss from a friend. And betrayal of the brave. gone on. One woman has watched from afar. See, for the one who birthed Jesus, this would hit most hard. The child that God had placed inside her womb was now walking towards a prophesied tomb.
never mind, but yours. Something's wrong. This can't be the way I'd always thought that we would rise Like an army by his side That through this man All that is wrong would be made right And we would see the kingdom come Instead we've lost And they have won If you're who say you are, then what happens now? Surely this can't be the plan I've begun to doubt. How can you lead us? Where we cannot go You say the way is near But the vision's so unclear What does this prove? That you're just another man Are you the one we waited for? Or should we look for something more? If you're
to say in God's name tell me now are you the one you claim to be the son of God the Peter, he waits outside in the old square, but some people start to recognize him as he's waiting there. Aren't you a follower of that so-called Messiah? I don't know him, he said, but they called him a liar. No, I'm not. Can't you see? This man means nothing to me.
the Roman Empire was fiercely occupying the Jewish land, sending brutal men to crush dissidents in their hands. One prefect, Pilate, was a military fist over Judea, sent to keep the peace or at least instill fear. And there was a custom that by the power of Rome, one previously condemned would be returned to their own. So who would it be? Would it be Barabbas, a man of sedition? Or would it be Jesus, a man on a mission? Blasphemy, cry the people. But the Christ remains resolute. What is truth, sneers Pilate. But Jesus remains mute. All hell breaks loose in Caesar's court. And now Pilate appears dumbstruck, or at least struck dumb in his thought. So his wife creeps in while the tribunal is still in session. And she speaks to him privately about her suspicion. Have none to do with this man. I've suffered much because of him. I saw him clearly in my dream. Understand what this could mean. They want his blood, but could come for me. There's only so much I can do. Let's see what they will make of you. So you must choose. Which man must die? Barabbas here or Jesus Christ? I don't know what to think anymore. What if we've got this wrong? Should we have waited till we knew for sure? But who are we to say? Yeah. 
God He's who they say He is Don't fall for His act this All of this trouble is obscene this One more Messiah's failed this Why does Pilate even care? Threat to our empire, he's only one man. He'll surely die for this. Don't you think there could be more to it? I don't know what to think anymore. Have you forgotten where we are? This Being used by this small Jewish star. This we have the power here in our hands to rid Rome of this man. So where do you stand? thrown to the floor and struck with a whip. Forty lashes from a man trained to rip skin and flesh from the back, exposing organ and bone. But the Son of God, the Son of Man, just knelt there, didn't even moan. No protesting or complaining, he just bore our sin. Even though he knew he and his heavenly legions could easily win, instead... Entrusting himself to the one whose judgments are just. Making himself a sacrifice for us. On his knees, taking it all. The king of eternity for one moment made small.
God, my God, why have you abandoned me? Why are you so far when I groan for help? Every day I call to you, my God, but you do not answer. Every night I lift my voice, but I find no relief. Yet you are holy, enthroned on the praises of Israel. Our ancestors trusted in you and you rescued them. They cried out to you and were saved. They trusted in you and were never disgraced. But I am a worm and not a man. I am scorned and despised by all. Everyone who sees me mocks me. They sneer and shake their heads saying, Is this the one who relies on the Lord? Then let the Lord save him. If the Lord loves him so much, let the Lord rescue him. Yet, you brought me safely from my mother's womb and led me to trust you at my mother's breast. I was thrust into your arms at birth. You have been my God from the moment I was born. Do not stay so far from me, for trouble is near and no one else can help me. My enemies surround me like a herd of bulls. Fierce bulls of Bashan have hemmed me in. Like lions, they open their jaws against me, roaring and tearing into their prey. My life is poured out like water. All of my bones are out of joint, and my heart is like wax melting within me. My strength has dried up like some baked clay. My tongue sticks to the roof of my mouth. You have laid me in the dust and left me for dead. My enemies surround me like a pack of dogs. An evil gang closes in on me. They've pierced my hands and my feet. I can count all of my bones. My enemies stare at me and they gloat. They divide my garments among themselves and they throw dice for my clothing. you've led will be known for all time 
they called you to die If only they knew the Messiah I see They'd know only through you will they ever be free It wasn't meant to go this far. It wasn't meant to end like this. It was just because of one small kiss. He's gone. Have I lost more than I've gained? Was it really worth the pain? What will now the future hold for me? Does heaven hold a place for me? Heaven hold a place for me. It's funny, this is how it ends. I'm thinking of myself again. I'm on my own to face the future now. With bloodstained hands, I hold my faith. I'm straining underneath the weight. Can there be a future now? 
Does heaven hold a place for me? Does heaven hold a place for me? a place for me does heaven hold a place I think we might have got this wrong Truly he was the son of God Darkness fell and then I saw More clearly than before He's more than a man What must he think of what I've done? Am I the guilty? Foolish one As we led him there to die There was compassion in his eyes Forgive them, he cried This Jesus This Jesus Enter Joseph of Arimathea. He speaks to Pontius Pilate, the manslayer. The body of this man of sorrows must be taken down, for it is Sabbath tomorrow. So can I take it? As a final act of giving, separate him from the land of the living to a grave cut by the rich and the blessed. Well, I've washed my hands of this man. Your answer is yes.
grew up in the Lord's presence like a tender green shoot, like a root in dry ground. There was nothing beautiful or majestic about his appearance, nothing to attract us to him. He was despised and rejected, a man of sorrows, acquainted with deepest grief. And we turned our backs on him and looked the other way. He was despised and we did not care. Yet it was our weakness that he carried. It was our sorrows that weighed him down. And we thought his troubles were a punishment from God, a punishment for his own sins. That he was pierced for our rebellion, crushed for our sins. He was beaten so we could be whole. He was whipped so we could be healed. All of us, like sheep, have strayed away. We've left God's path to follow our own. Yet the Lord laid on him the sins of us all. He was oppressed and treated harshly, yet he never said a word. He was led like a lamb to the slaughter. As a sheep is silent before the shearers, he did not open his mouth. Unjustly condemned, he was led away. No one cared that he died without descendants, that his life was cut short in midstream, but he was struck down for the rebellion of my people. He'd done no wrong and had never deceived anyone, but he was buried like a criminal. He was put in a rich man's grave. But it was the Lord's good plan to crush him and cause him grief. Yet when his life is made an offering for sin, he will have many descendants. He will enjoy a long life. And the Lord's good plan will prosper in his hands. When he sees all that is accomplished by his anguish, he will be satisfied. And because of his experience, my righteous servant will make it possible for many to be counted righteous. For he will bear all their sins. So I will give him the honours of a victorious soldier. Because he exposed himself to death. He counted himself among the rebels. And he bore the sins of many and interceded for the rebels.
flowed through the disciples' body, filling their brain. Tears, anguish, weeping and sorrow. The longest day in history with no tomorrow. The disciples begin to argue. Fights break out. Where were you last night? Why did you leave him last night? A million, if only, is bound around the room. And it's holy day tomorrow. We can't even see his tomb. The followers now found empty with no one now to follow. With a numbness setting in. What a bitter pill to swallow. Mary Magdalene wakes up early Sunday morning. She's hardly slept really because her heart still feels torn. I can't just sit here. I'll go to the grave. If it's the last thing I do, my respects will be paid. I saw them pierce his hands, his feet, his final breath of life. My Jesus, can it be that my Jesus? Jesus lives. 
that night, the disciples gathered in a private place. Lock the doors, hide the keys, let no one see your face. Hidden and scarred by the weekend's events, they've barricaded the doors. It's a huddle of self-defense. See, only a few days ago, they were right here, witnessing a new period in history, but now they feel so confused, so excited, so full of mystery. But even though the doors were locked, Jesus appeared amongst them. Peace be with you, he said. And he drew his disciples to him. Our scene here was not the last reported sighting. In fact, Jesus appeared to many, always enlightening. Over 500 people walking around claiming that they'd seen him again. Over a 40 day period, could all be insane. Eventually, he gathered his nearest and dearest to him as one. And then all of a sudden, he disappeared. He was gone. So now, viewer, play your part. Cast your mind back. Go right back to the start. Who was this humble carpenter, teacher, preacher, herald from Galilee? The real deal? A mere fable or pure fallacy? It's over to you because reason must demand. What will you make of this Jesus whose life is in your hands?
So 